Can't tell exactly how big he is, but he's, he's definitely bigger than 20 inches, though. So. Oh, yeah. Big walleye. Better, for sure. Big walleye. Nice. <laughs> yeah, buddy. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. So, today, I'm doing something a little interesting. I'm going to be actually doing a challenge video for you guys. I am up here in the middle of nowhere with my good buddy, Cody Solberg. You guys have probably seen him on the channel on, a million times. Yeah, it's been a little bit. But I brought him up here today with me because one, he really doesn't come up in the Northwoods like too often, especially during ice. So I said, let's go in the middle of nowhere. I got the trusty old Polaris with me today and uh, we took a trip and we we're out here on one of my favorite lakes going for some Northern Pike. And then we're also gonna be going for some walleye as it gets darker later tonight. Now this lake we film a lot of videos on. You guys have probably seen us out here, but uh, this is the lake that I have my personal best pike in. Brandon has his personal pike in and Brandon also has his personal best walleye for up here in this area on this lake so it has a lot of quality fish and the way that we're going to be doing today is obviously we are going to be setting minnows for these pike but we also got some fun dogs now the funny thing about the fun dogs actually is that is what caught my personal best pike out of this lake it was just over 40 inches i caught it in this exact spot on a fun dog the first time i ever tried the hot dog challenge and it caught me my personal best pike very first fish of the day i'll show you guys a clip of that actually right now because it was insane i mean we didn't even know if this would actually work set the flag and then walked away and about two minutes later it went up it was completely spooled 40 inch northern pike so that's kind of the goal today we do have enormous suckers too but we are going to be setting the fun dogs seeing if it can produce us a giant old northern wisconsin northern and uh like i said we're gonna do that and then get into some walleyes hopefully later so stay tuned guys you're not gonna want to miss this one all right you guys so as you can tell sitting in the shack got the shack all set up and actually we got joined by introduce yourself jason i'm the u.s director of pc fun pc fun youtube channel guys go check it out and obviously cody yeah he's still with us Make but uh I'm yeah, so the pretty much, you know, in the intro, I'm sitting here saying I've caught a lot of big pike out of this lake. We're going to be using hot dogs. Well, we did that, but the problem is the pike didn't actually, like, commit. Like, we, I didn't catch any pike, which is really weird because we actually come here and not only catch big ones, but we do get numbers, and that just wasn't the case. But we are switching gears. Now that we got the shack set up, it is getting dark already, and uh, we're pretty much, we're already set up for walleyes. I didn't film, like, anything showing you the whole setup process, but we got tip-ups out. We are fishing weed lines and a rock bar, and basically we're just going to be chilling in here and waiting for some walleyes. Just like the pike, we have caught some enormous walleyes out of this lake. Uh, it's not a very big lake, but they eat. I mean, you could catch, like my buddy, he caught a 28 and a half, or no, maybe it was 29, but it was nine and a half pounds, almost 10, and uh, you know, obviously everybody's chasing that 10 pounder up here. So to see a fish like that come out of this lake is awesome. And hopefully, you know, if it's not me, either one of these guys catches a giant and uh, We'll see how the night goes. So like I said, we got all of our flags set up and uh, hopefully the next time you see me on the camera, we will be hooked up. What's going on, Nick? Well, we have a tip up. It's doing what all the other ones are doing. And this one's moving. <laughs> God, I just missed him. Oh, wait. No, he's there. Not very big. Small, actually. Look at that. Not that small. It's not tiny, but... Not like the ones we got yesterday. It is the first walleye of the day. Or the night, I should say. Probably, I don't know, 16 inches or so. Nice keeper there. Not gonna be keeping any, but would be a nice keeper if you wanted to keep them. Hasn't been dark for too long, what, maybe 20 minutes or so? And uh, this one went up. We just had another flag, but nothing happened at it. And then this guy went up right when we were walking back to the shack. 
get a release on them right away. I know some people are probably going crazy because I'm releasing a walleye. But the lake that we're fishing is so pristine, I like to just throw everything back. I don't need fish as much as the next guy, so I just throw everything back. Because it turns out, I like fishing so much that I just like actually catching them. I know, crazy. Minnow's still alive. I'm going to send them back down, and hopefully it's not too long. And we're going to get another flag, and it's going to be a bigger walleye. That thing was spinning like crazy. Yeah, it was peeling. It's been up for a while now. Oh yeah, we had to run across the lake for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jason, that took a point. Yeah. Left the switch. Ooh, it's getting me some head shakes. Feeling pretty good. Yeah, he feels pretty decent. Can't tell exactly how big he is, but he feels He's definitely bigger than 20 inches, so. He's not really fighting too hard, though. Man. Okay, the bottom. Oh, yeah. Big walleye. For sure. Big walleye. Nice. Usually you come out here and you don't get many flags which is kind of crazy because we've gotten a lot of flags today, but this is more of the size that we're talking about. And they do get a lot bigger, but that's a good good one to start. It's still actually quite early in the night. So to get a fish like this already is a great start. Got the sucker right there, actually. Got the hook out. It wasn't quite swallowed, so it was a nice, easy unhook. Really, really fat female. Gonna get a release on her. They do grow really fat in this lake. My buddy caught a nine and a half pounder out of here, and uh, it was it was huge. <laughs> Biggest wall I've ever seen, actually, to this day. This fish shouldn't be in too bad a shape. Didn't have it out of the water too long. There she goes. Well, that's better than uh, some of the other ones. Well. We haven't really caught any other ones. We still have that iFish Pro that uh, is over there up. Doesn't look too promising because this one was like ripping line, but <laughs> you never know. I mean, we have probably gotten like 10 flags after dark right now, but uh, I think some of the smaller ones were messing with those. And then obviously when a big one comes in and it wants it, it, it wants it and it's a clear sign that there's a fish there. So hopefully we can get a few more. I'm gonna reset this. It took out a ton of line and uh, yeah, we're gonna hopefully get some bigger fish. That's some tension there. She was tight. It's off to the side. Yeah, it's that way. That way. Mm. Mm, not a great sign. That's not a great sign. <laughs> no. No, it is not. Something definitely grabbed it, huh? Yeah. Probably can stop recording, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, you guys, not sure exactly what tip-up number this is. Got to be at least like 25 at this point. But in the video that you are seeing, uh, this is probably only like number three. I've been letting these guys, mainly Cody, <laughs> take pretty, <laughs> much, pretty much take every tip-up because, well, I brought them. And you want to record them? <laughs> I brought them and I enjoy watching people I bring to the lakes that I fish uh, catch walleye, so I've been letting them take a lot of the flags. And honestly, like, they've been really finicky. Like, they've been doing this pretty much at every single one where they just aren't running. Except for the two bigger ones, which in my video you probably won't see what Jason caught, but uh, he caught like a seven pounder a little bit ago. And that one was running just like the one that I hooked into was running. So this isn't really, great sign unfortunately Cody's been dealing with that all night but uh, he did just catch like a 14 inch a little bit ago so 15. Uh, there's that sorry 15 but um, this one's probably been up for a little bit so I'm gonna check her out the bobber is right there and there is nothing on it Besides the sucker, 
which is doing okay. The snow is really coming down. When we first got out here, it obviously was not snowing. And I think with that front pushing through, a lot of these fish were pushing to eat. That's why we were getting so many flags. I normally, when I come out to this lake, I do not get that many flags, but the flags that I do get are gonna be bigger fish, which we did catch today, but we usually just don't get this many of the smaller ones, but I kind of think just with the snow coming in that everything just wants to eat before it comes in. And we're still getting flags while it's snowing, but we haven't seen another big one. So we're probably gonna give it a little bit and see if we get a few more flags. And if we do, you'll see it. And if you don't, you will see me back at the truck. All right, guys, we got another tip up. We were in the process of picking up and uh, this one pops. So I'm gonna let Cody take it, see if it uh, is a bigger fish. It's tight. <laughs> it's tight. It's, it's on the, I say every on the iFish time. Pro. These it's things tight. have been giving us problems. It's tight. But hey, you never know. There ain't nothing there anyways. I can feel the sucker. Can you? Yep. I can feel the sucker. Oh, good thing that was like our 30th yeah, flag. Nah. Well, here. Let's see. No, there is something there. I can feel it. Uh, nope, gone. <laughs> <laughs> well, as you can see, Cody did not catch a fish. I don't even know why I actually have that guy take the flags because anytime he was like, I'm taking it, it. <laughs> It never actually worked out for him. He He's never, full of it. He never caught any fish, <laughs> He's full actually. of it. But, you know, we caught some fish, and uh, it was still a good time. The snow kind of interrupted everything. For that little bit there, we did have a couple nice fish on the ice within, but it was like a 20-minute small window, and uh, that was that. But we came out, we caught some fish, and uh, I got these guys on top of some. So overall, pretty fun. We are going to finish wrapping up because the snow is still falling. We have to take down a lot of tip-ups. We got to take down the shack. Hope to God my snowmobile starts. Thank God we have two of them. And uh, yeah, drive back to the truck. We got a long haul before we get there. But when we do, I will pick up the camera and uh, I will see you guys then. Well guys, I said I was gonna do an outro at the truck and I lied. We are actually in a hotel right now, even further north, and uh, we're gonna be hitting a spot in the morning, going for a fish that I have never targeted through the ice. So, extremely excited. You guys will have to stay tuned for uh, that video. I'm not sure exactly when you'll be seeing that, but it will be after this video sometime, and it uh, should be a great time. Fishing tonight wasn't too spectacular. We did get a bunch of flags, and I did a terrible job of filming it all, but hopefully you guys still enjoyed uh, Jason ended up catching, I don't know, the fish was probably 25, 26 inches. Had to have been seven pounds though. I'm gonna throw a clip of that over the top of this just so you guys can see. Kinda, you know, we did succeed tonight. We went into this mission trying to catch some big walleyes. We ended up doing that. I ended up catching that one that was in the slot. Really nice, healthy fish as well. Cody, you know, he, he caught a couple 15 inches. But hey, we all caught fish, we had fun, and uh, hopefully tomorrow is just even better. So I am going to wrap things up. We're extremely tired. I mean, we did a lot of driving and a lot of setting up, and it's just been, it's been a full day's worth. So if you guys enjoyed, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you guys are subscribed because we are pushing out a ton of ice fishing content. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys on the next one, Tight Lines from NB Edits.